properties often caused by tubal disease and tubal blockage. In some cases, the tubes are blocked at the very end. In this case, the tubes are blocked at the very beginning. As a result, we take the patient to laparoscopy. We placed a incision at the umbilicus and placed a port and then placed a laparoscope to evaluate the pelvis. There was absolutely no scar tissue at the end of the tube, but when we attempted to uh, inject dye through the tubes, the tubes were completely blocked, just as we'd seen on the HSG. Hysteroscopy was then performed, and the beginnings of the tubes were visualized. You can see here on the right side, and then on the left side. We did not see an obstruction uh, at the beginning of the tube, but they were clearly blocked. We then placed a guide wire with a catheter overlying it through the beginning of the tube to relieve the obstruction. We placed it carefully and we used the laparoscopy to guide the guide wire in, a, uh, in order to avoid any possible injury or perforation to the fallopian tube. Here you can see the guide wire being passed up to about half uh, the tube on the right side. It passes easily, the obstruction is relieved. At this point, the guide wire is then removed and dye is injected into that tube to confirm that the remainder of the tube is patent as it is. You can see the blue dye coming through. On the left side, the end of the tube isn't quite as easily seen, but nevertheless uh, is identified. The guide wire and catheter is placed now on the left side, slowly and gently under laparoscopy guidance, and one can see the wire being passed uh, approximately to a third of the fallopian tube. Here's the, you can see the guide wire, and the obstruction is relieved. The guide wire is then removed, and selective chromoperturbation of that tube uh, confirms that the tube is filling with dye and spilling, and that the remainder of the tube is normal. Here you can see the fimbriated end spilling the blue dye. At this point, uh, the catheter is removed, the hysteroscope is removed, dye is then injected through the cervix. Uh, the dye has to travel all the way through the uterus and then out through the tubes completely. And we can see dye coming out first on the right side, as indicated here, and then on the left side. And as a result, the tubal occlusion has been relieved.